Loretta Claiborne will compete in her seventh Special Olympic World Games. She never stops. That's been her mission since she found her voice more than five decades ago. She gives back and continues to be an advocate for people with intellectual disabilities. Her efforts earn her recognition as one of USA Today's Women of the Year. Don't tell me what you can't do. Show me what you can do. Words York's Loretta Claiborne lives by as she continues to show the world her strength and courage on the local and international level. She currently works as the Special Olympics Board Vice Chair and Chief Inspirational Officer. It's her drive and impact that sets her apart. And she recently added another honor to her stellar resume. USA Today named her one of the Women of the Year. Loretta found her courage over 50 years ago and continues to be an inspiration. Because I want these students here to have more than what I had. I want them to be able to go out and one day they say they want to get a job to be able to get that job. Something she never had the opportunity to do growing up. So she began to run. As a kid, they always told me I would never be able to be in anything. But I loved to run, and I had a rule, I can only run around the projects, and I started with my brother, I was 12. Running was her escape. Loretta started running in the mid-1960s, and in 1970, joined the York County Special Olympics. I'll be 70 this August, and I still run. I don't run like I used to, I don't run marathons, but I run for mental toughness, fitness, to stay healthy, and it works perfectly on the tennis court because a day like this, I would thrive on a hot day when the other guy is melting. The way she plays, you wouldn't think she's 69 years old. Her willingness to compete lands her once again on the world stage. Hey, you're going. <laughs> I'm not. You're going, kiddo. <laughs> we don't know. You're going to play. She's a member of her own tennis club, tries to better herself every single day. Loretta's hard work has her on the cusp of her seventh Special Olympic World Games, her first in 14 years. It, it means so much. It means so much that it's hard for me to explain, but I'm elated. Dallas Town High School math teacher Deb Gable has been Loretta's tennis coach for the last 13 years. Her bond with Loretta goes beyond the words of the Special Olympics motto tattooed on her arm. Deb was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2020 and never missed a Zoom practice during the COVID-19 pandemic. For nearly a decade, Loretta has been knitting and crocheting preemie hats and knockers for women with breast cancer, never knowing she'd be helping someone she knew. She made me whole in that area, and she always says how much Special Olympics does for her and how much the coaches do for us, but I don't think she gets how much she does for everyone. I actually learned how to do it so I can do it if I would turn blind, and that way oh. I can at least feel the needles. Simply amazing. Loretta donates everything she makes to a handful of hospitals and women's centers in central PA and across the country. She embarks on her seventh Special Olympic World Games this summer. Lindsay Barna, Fox 43 News.